$400,000 goes to bring in out-of-state cops. With that $500,000, how many homeless could we feed? How many homeless children could we take off the street? How many homeless families could we give homes to? That is the problem with this budget. That is why we are outside, council member, to discuss why funds are being allocated against our voting residents. This budget that is for the city, it's, it's way more than $500,000, right? It's almost $180 million. Tell that. Almost half of that is for the police. You hear that? Half of the city budget. Do the police make us feel safe? Justice brings safety, right? Investment in community brings safety. Getting rid of the things that drive people to commit crimes of desperation. Put it into uh, youth organizations out here. Put it into the activists. Put it into the families that need it. That need it, man. Where, where people is burying their loved ones left and right. That 500,000 could have went to them. Uh, George Floyd was like an uncle to me, man. A mentor, man. He meant everything to me, man. Uh, just as well as he meant everything to y'all, man. 500,000. <laughs> And my uncle got killed over $20. And when the lights were shining and when the stage was set at Powderhorn Park, Alondra took the stage and decried that they would defund the police along with Lisa Bender and a handful of other city council members. Alondra then abandoned that and voted to give the police 500,000 extra dollars. And also, I know that some of y'all follow the rules and you wait online for your 90 seconds to speak at the budget hearing. Some of us ain't got time. Some of us, some folks got jobs. Some folks got kids. But for the rest of the city that doesn't have time to sit and wait for an Anglo-Saxon constructed colonial method of addressing injustice, we pull up to your doorstep to demand what the hell is going on? You wasted tens of millions of dollars kettling peaceful protesters on a highway demanding justice for an election that was about to get rigged, demanding justice for a black male body that got killed like an animal in the street, and you wasted tens of millions of dollars having the feds, undercover agents, sheriff's department, state patrol, MPD, the St. Paul Police Department, the 11th most lethal department in the country to bring their silent killer asses over here too, they had the nerve, and you have bike cops and animals on horses. What the hell are you doing? We, oftentimes, we defer to the police to deal with violence in our own communities. We've lived in that system for as long as I've been alive. And we gotta, we gotta deal with that, right? We gotta offer real alternatives to these reactionary folks to say, you know what, this is what we're going to replace. And now, they approve $500,000 to have more police come in from out of state. That's some colonizer shit. Tell that. These police are not beholden to the community. Yeah. Can you just imagine if I do something wrong and I'm the one that gets to decide whether I'm guilty or not and I get to decide my punishment? That's messed up. Community control of the police, that's what we need. Yeah. Because if y'all were more connected with the community, y'all would treat the community much different. If the people who live in the city policed us, we would be policed way different. And y'all know it's the outside people coming to con try to police us. They're not even here from here. They're, They're not even people. from here. They not. And then the people who feel some type of way that feel like they need these extra police, y'all need to go live where y'all asking them from. Go ahead and put that for sale sign in your yard. You ain't even got to stay there till it gets sold. Leave. Leave if you are 
are that uncomfortable. A few days after George Floyd was murdered by the MPD, a black man named Calvin L. Horton Jr. was killed, murdered outside of Cadillac Pond, right where we were. Calvin was murdered by John Ripple, a white man who was the owner of Cadillac Pond. John Ripple spent less time in jail than Amina McCaskill did after being held up for the highway protests. That ain't right! That ain't right!